Some kids in East Palo Alto got a gift today from their well-known neighbors right around the corner. Yeah, Facebook helped build a special place at a local school that teachers say will pave the way to a brighter future for students. Yeah, here's ABC7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom. Driving a robot around with an iPad sure doesn't feel like schoolwork. Neither does building machines out of wooden blocks. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Thomas Edison, you know, all of those light bulbs that, that didn't work led to the, the ones that did. That's the sort of thinking these kids learn in Brentwood Academy's new maker space. It's like a 21st century wood shop. Students are able to come in and work on whatever interests them. There are computers, 3D printers, even Legos. It's essentially the ability for students to be creative and express themselves. Brentwood's is the second makerspace in a school district that takes nothing for granted. We are the little hub of poverty and amid, amongst the wealth of the Silicon Valley. Ravenswood City Schools serve East Palo Alto and a small corner of Menlo Park that happens to include the sprawling campus of Facebook. The students here are our neighbors. It's our responsibility and also it's part of our culture. It's who Mark Zuckerberg is. It's who we are as a company that we are creating strong partnerships with our neighbors. In 2013, Facebook's founder and his wife announced they would donate $120 million to Bay Area schools. They think facilities like this one, designed with help from Stanford, could level the playing field. Who knows? Maybe the founder of the next Facebook is right here in these rooms. Much of Facebook's contribution has been in the physical building blocks of the makerspace. They donated these MacBook Pro laptops and these tables and chairs. But Facebook's also donating something else, time. Facebook folks come here and work with our students, do tutoring. Teachers have even visited the Facebook campus and learned to model their classrooms after Facebook's open workspaces for East Palo Alto's mayor. This is the community that I grew up in, so this means a, a lot to me. I was a student here. Now the students who follow will be better prepared. They can do more than the everyday job. They can work in Silicon Valley. In East Palo Alto, Jonathan Bloom, ABC7 News.